So here I am at Tony Scott's studio and uh, I'll just pan a little bit and you can begin to get an idea of her talent. I'm not really sure what you call this type of piece, I guess. Mixed multimedia, oh, mixed media, thanks. <laughs> mixed media, but it uh, truly is artistic. And it says so much about from where we are today, from where we've come, whose shoulders we stand on. So, since I'm up here, why don't you tell me a little bit about this large poster in the back that I love so much? Um, I did a series of self-portraits, um, putting myself in history because of the, the documents that I had chronicling my family history. I just started to think, well, let me, I'll treat myself as the, sort of a, the object of this person that, and their heritage and put it in the context of what events happened in America. So this one's called Evaluating the White in Me, and these are all the white people except for the two slaves on each end who were half white. Uh, that had something to do with, you know, bringing me in this world. Now you can see the top row primarily are slave owners. Uh, you have Colonel Topps Plantation over here on my father's side. Well, so, so this is let's say these are all the whites in my family. You have the German immigrant Frank Noel, my great grandfather. You have my Italian Im immigrant grandfather. You have the slave owners, the May Plantation in Georgia. You have on my, um, another Jordan plantation was on my, uh, my mother's side, that's part of my family tree. And then on my father's side, you have Colonel Tott's plantation. This is the son of a slave owner here. Though he's half white, he's half white. He's the son of a slave, he's the son of a slave. And this is me in the middle. This is the plantation house where my ancestors were slaves. On my maternal side of the family, on the May plantation, I'm wearing the dress of one I of my ancestors. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a, it, I'm wearing her dress. I took the dress off of my ancestor and put it on me digitally. Okay. So I'm wearing uh, his daughter's dress, so one and of my great aunts. Shoes, huh? Yes. So what's me is just my head and my arms, basically. How beautiful. So this talks about the white in me. This talks about, it's called Mi Familia. European colonialism, African enslavement, Native American genocide. So this is the this is part of American history. Um, this is who we are: the good, the bad, and the ugly. But this is it. And that's to your uh, to your right. And this one is what? Mi familia, European. So it talks about the black face how represents the African. Look, these lines. How did you do that? I I painted my face with black. Uh, makeup and then I treated it digitally to give it that swirl and then I overlaid um, an African mask on my body, put the headdress in my hair, the feathers are there and the American flag. So it talks about all the aspects of what makes up my family tree which is Europe, African and Native American. It appears almost like you have tattoos. I like that. It's very tribal also. African enslavement. That's a word I don't really hear too much. Enslavement. It's become an interesting topic. I've had people say, they don't use the word slave, they say they were enslaved. And that's where I got uh, the inspiration from. Because instead of calling ourselves slaves as victims, we were enslaved. So uh, not so much focused on the victimization, but what was put upon us, you know. And this classic one here? That's uh, my back with the words of Delia Garlic. Sojourner Truth. How, did, how is this processed? Um, a picture of Sojourner digitally treated with her narratives overlaid in the background. Um, one of the books I made here, I'll bring over, oh, it's kind of falling apart here, but. I can read some to you. We went over this before. It's really not as old as it looks, right? Exactly. It's so cool how old it looks. Tell us, Tony, a little bit about what these uh, books are. This one is the narrative. I have two. The narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave. So this is the small version. This is the big version. Do you sell these? I do. How would one get one of these? 
Uh, just uh, TonyScott.com. Tony Scott. <laughs> well, this one's this is a story about incidents in the life of a slave girl by Harriet Jacob. That's the artwork that it coordinates with. This is symbolic of a woman who lived through slavery, who survived slavery, who fought her, her way through it, who rose above, and who was powerful and intelligent and wrote her story about it. And so this is a success story. A war, a woman of who was a warrior of courage and of, of, of power. So Sojourner Truth, Ain't I a Woman, that's one of the speeches she's famous for. Here she is here. So this is, you know, to sort of uh, give us a feel. So leave that one mm -hmm. This is one of the flyers. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I remember when at the California African American Museum you passed these out and I was watching the young, the young ones reading it. They were like, really? Like, wow. I know a lot of people think this is the actual paperwork too, and it's like, come on now, you couldn't get, you couldn't even breathe on this if this were original. Right. <laughs> It'd be somewhere locked up in vault. But it was like something of value they were holding. It is something of value that they were holding because these are the stories and words of people like Sojourner Truth, people that were forerunners and trailblazers and, you know, risked their lives for us. So um, this is an announcement about her lecture. This is their, her slave papers. Her real name was Isabella. So she was sold for a hundred dollars. Wasn't that a lot? Yes. Oh. Still a good amount of money here. <laughs> <laughs> Free lecture. Sojourner Truth, who has been a slave in the state of New York and who has been a lecturer for the past 23 years, whose characteristics have been vividly portrayed by Mrs. Harriet Beecher Stowe as the African Nibel, will deliver and lecture upon the present woman of the day, something of that effect. Mm -hmm. But here she is, I gotta read this to, to you really quick then, see if I can read it. So Sojourner Truth. Ain't I a woman, 1851. Sojourner Truth, 1797 to 1883. Ain't I a woman, delivered in 1851 at the Women's Convention in Akron, Ohio. Well, children, well there is so much racket, there must be something out there. I think that twixt the Negroes of the South and the women at the North, all talking about rights, the white man will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here y'all talking about? That man over there says that woman need to be helped into carriages and, and help lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever has helped me into carriages or over mud puddles or give me any place in the best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me, look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns, and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much of a man when as much of, as a man when I get it, and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne thirteen children and seen most of them sold off to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. Ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this in the head thing in the head. What what's this they call it? Intellect, that's it, honey. What's that got to do with women's rights and Negroes' rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours hold a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have a little half full? Then you, then that little man in black there, he says, can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Now where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, then these women together ought to be able to turn it right back up and get it right set up again. And now they is asking to do it that men better than let them. Obliged to you for hearing me, and now old Sojourner ain't got nothing more to say. But she does say a few more words back here. Sojourner is an, el is an old body and will soon get out of the world into another and wants to say when she gets there, Lord, I have done my duty and I have told the whole truth and kept nothing back. The narrative of Sojourner Truth. Tony Scott captures the African and European culture traditions through her award-winning artwork. A versatile artist, Scott works in a variety of mediums including sculpture, painting, photography, and was a grand prize winner of American Photo Magazine annual competition. 
Scott has been commissioned to create artworks for well-known celebrities, public agencies, the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, and the African American Museum in Los Angeles. Many of her lifelike sculptures are cast in fiberglass or bronze. She also carves alabaster, jade, marble, soapstone, and Douglas fir wood, from which she carves African totem poles, which stand nine feet tall. Arsenio Hall, Mike Ferris, and Tisha Campbell are among the many who have collected her distinct artwork. The one and only Tony Scott. Blaze out.